This is your boy, the RC Cola. This is Cola Industry Season 60, Episode 190 and 192, 90, not 92, 91, Part 1 and Part 2. Let's start with Part 1. We know that Eileen, we know that Yan still want Eileen to go, right? Eileen said she'll think about it. And Seth, well, before then, Seth and Eileen was talking, he was trying to stop her from leaving because they think... Now Liz already think Yen is not a good person. Oh yeah, he's nothing like Pat. He's a good person. He just had to pretend to be bad, but he's not. Trust me, he's a good person. But anyway, before then, at the end, at the time was gonna think about it because she was talking about she was gonna go with him. Guys, we don't know what's gonna happen. But we seen Rachel watching them. She stood out there yesterday, not yesterday, the day before yesterday when this happened, she was watching them. So pretty much that's what happened. And when Seth was looking at the car, because he saw the car and he saw her in the car, and I guess he didn't know who was behind the wheel. When he was about to take a look, she took off. That was, I think that was part one and part two I was talking about. We also know that <clears throat> Asha, I think that's her name, she want her own room. And her, I forgot her brother's, her twin brother's name. He also want his own room too. Now, Steph decided to, you know, you know, take it, you know, because they are, they're teenagers now. It's time for them to get their own room. You remember about, um, back when I was watching um, Blackish? that you know they was twins and they had to separate they had to get their own room pretty much diane got her own room and uh jack got hit well he did have his own room until you know until he julian came or whatever his name until he came back he was put to move out too so i guess he's gonna stick around because jack was put to have his own room too but that wasn't the case they had to share it is what it is but I don't know if the brackets come back. I gotta look at. I gotta find out if they did. Because I need to check it out. If they did, I need to watch it. But guys, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Cornelius Street. So what was I saying? Oh, before Eileen. The end was waiting for Eileen to show up, right? And pretty much, we're gonna keep it from there. We got to see Seth talking to Liz and try to get. Trying to get Liz to stop Eileen from leaving because Liz already think he's not a good person. That he be- that she barely know him. But anyway guys, that's all I was thinking about. What else to talk about? We got to see Af- Ali and and Maria, they hanging out and Michelle. Cause Michelle also think that Rob said he brought the ring. Then on the other flip side she think that Craig, you know, saying that he found the ring so Michelle is gonna put the pieces together I know she's gonna find out that he's been lying to her so pretty much we know that Vicky S baby daddy is still you know he bought he gave Robert gave him the money but then we find out that it was careless on it so yeah Robert did give him an opportunity don't don't come back here us, I'm gonna go report you to the police because he been trying to blackmail Robert and Robert turned right back around him, told him not to come back because that's when um that's what Tyler wanted to know what the hell was going on because he know they've been acting funny, and of course he had to make up a story about the gambling problem when that wasn't the case. But the thing is, I don't think Tyler know that he dating two women. And pretty much that's what he's doing. He engaged with Michelle and Vicky. The truth is gonna come out sooner or later. So that's it on that one. We got to see um uh Yasmin and Jeff Jack. And <clears throat> we also know that he didn't tell his his he didn't tell Tim that he was I think he's sick or he had cancer. Cause you asked me to think that he might have cancer. This is the reason why he need to go to the doctor and get it checked out. You see, if he's getting the clear or not. Remember, my mom got to make sure she didn't have cancer and she was good. 
So you always make sure you get a checkup. That's why I get a checkup when I go to the dentist. They check your tonsil. And I make sure I'm in a clear. So that's what they do when I get my teeth clean. So I always make sure I stay healthy. And I walk every day to keep myself healthy. Drink some water. Drink something healthy. Eat healthy. So yeah, I find like do I have to keep my body healthy. I'm right in my 30. I'm in my main 30 right now. And I try to stay that way. My friend is also as healthy. She's going to be 40 soon. And she's still going to be look young. In two months she will. But guys. Let's get back to uh, when Yan was talking to Eileen. And he, and he realized Eileen didn't bring her stuff. And she decided to stay. And saying that it could be too dangerous. Then we got to see Rachel creeping on them. And then she put a gun and shot Yen. Yen was okay. Eileen was freaking out that, that she ain't gonna make it. That he ain't gonna make it. That's when uh, Seth find out that he was also shot and stuff. He also heard about that. But he know Yen is fine. But Eileen said, I'm gonna go with you. But they find out that they're gonna find out who shot her. And, we know, and I know who shot her. Rachel did. Remember, she's not a good person. <sighs> but anyway, guys, what else? We got one more thing to talk about. We got, well, maybe two things. We got Tyrone and Fizz. Fizz came back today. We were put to see her at the next day, but she decided to come back. Hope got so big. They both came back together. Kevin was trying to distract her, and Fizz found out that, you know, Tyrone didn't get uh, Hope in. So now they're going to try to. See what they're gonna do, cause Fizz told Tyrone that she might have to take her back. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I think Hope is gonna try. You can tell Hope is not happy, so she's gonna try to stay, make herself stay. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Connectory is gonna be crazy about the fight of the fight, so that's gonna happen. And then we got to see. Um, he also Steph told Mary that. They want her to move out, but he said he won't move out because he's we know that Mary was like a mother to them and she's been helping death raise them. Sorry about that, my phone better go there. But, guys, that's all I have to say about Cornelia Street. Make sure you wait, comment, subscribe, turn on notification, share this video. I'll see y'all next for East Standard. Peace.